Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So today I'll be doing a makeup declutter. This is one of my favorite types of videos to watch so I hope you guys really enjoy it too. Um, so today the stuff I'll be decluttering I'll be selling on an app slash website called Poshmark. Poshmark is an app that um, handles the transaction part of selling things online so users and sellers can just um, buy and sell without having to worry about the transaction part and the shipping because it handles that for you. Um, so I thought it would be a little safer that way to sell stuff. So that's what I'll be doing with my declutter. Um, I'll be doing either that or eBay if all else fails. Because um, I really have some stuff that's fairly new and I've only really used it a few times. And I would really like to just, you know, rotate it out. My username on Poshmark is at the Sweet Topia, and I will link it in the description box below. I'll have the link to my account, and I really hope you guys check it out. So if something catches your eye during this video, feel free to check it out, and you can make me an offer. And um, so if you're on there, just let me know that you're uh, there for my YouTube video, and I'll give you guys a little discount. So without any further ado, let's just get straight into the video. And one more thing um, I forgot to mention, I'll be dividing this video into three parts because it was really long when I filmed it, so it'll just be easier that way. So yeah, enjoy! <laughs> Alright, so the first category of products that I have are powders. And here I've got my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Um, I really like this and oh my god, the packaging looks as clean as the first day that I got it, so I'm totally keeping this. And then next I have the e.l.f., um, I forgot what it's called, the, um, I don't know, it's just the e.l.f. setting powder. And I don't really use this because I have this now, but I just need this as a placeholder in my um, makeup drawer because I need to see like what fits inside when I put it in, so I'm going to keep both of these for now. So next up I've got primers. Um, so over here, just to get this out of the way, I've got the Too Faced uh, Glitter Glue Primer. Uh, it's just a sample, but I don't really use this because I don't really use glitter, so I'm going to be decluttering this. And then I've got the Bare Minerals Primetime BB Primer Cream. And I like this. It's skin colored, but eventually I want to get a clear primer. So I think I'm going to try to pan this and then get another primer. So I'm keeping that. And then next I've got this sample of the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I have never tried um, a glittery primer before, but I think it's going to be fun to try it out. And it's a little sample, so I don't mind holding on to this. And then I've got the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer Sample. And like I said, it's really good. Um, I want to test uh, these two out against each other and see which one I like more. And then make a decision on what I want to buy. Next, I've got my foundations. So first up, I've got my, whoops, get back here. I've got my Physician's Formula Cushion Foundation. This is great for when you're getting ready in a hurry because you just pop this on and it's really quick. So I'm gonna hold on to this. The only thing about this is that I got this in the summer when I was a little more tan, so I don't know if this still fits my skin tone, but I'm still going to hold on to it. Next I've got the Stila Stick Foundation and I am a lazy girl. Like I cannot be bothered to spend like hours doing my makeup or at least it takes me hours to do makeup so that's why I don't really like using liquid foundations and I like using stick foundations. Let's get that back on here. You can probably tell I haven't really tried this out that much but I did buy this one recently so it does match my skin tone and I will be keeping this one. Next, I've got the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. And this is pretty much a BB cream. The only thing about this is that I got this in the spring and summer, so again, I don't know if this is going to work too well for winter right now because my skin tone's a little lighter, but I'm still going to hold on to this because I'm not going to just throw it out. So then next I've got my Smashbox uh, powder foundation and I only use this like once or twice. I didn't even use it on my whole face. I just swatched it um, because it's like too dark for my skin tone so I'm going to be uh, decluttering this one. 
And lastly, I have this foundation sample, and I really heard good things about this foundation, so I really want to give it a try. So I'm going to hold on to this one. So I've got massive under eye circles, and that's why I have so many concealers. Um, anyway, first up, I've got this yellow color correcting stick from Ulta. And this is my ride or die. I use this every day when I'm doing my makeup. And it works pretty well for covering my under eye circles. I'm going to hold on to this. And then I've got my... Uh, next, I've got my Benefit Stay Don't Stray Eye Primer. This isn't technically a concealer, but you can use it as a primer or a concealer. Um, no, it makes concealers stay longer, apparently. But this works fine. I'm going to hold on to this one. Next, I've got my Tarte Shape Tape. And I bought this in the spring last year. And again, this might be too dark for me right now, but... um. I'm still going to hold on to it and see if it works. Maybe I'll save it for summer. Eesh, these keep going all over the place. So, next I've got my Lancome concealer. And I just use this under my eyes. But since this is from summer too, um, it's a little too dark for under my eyes right now. So, I can't use this under my eyes, but I can use this to cover up blemishes like over, like in, on other parts of my face. So, I'm going to hold on to this one. So kind of going along that same vein, I got this NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade um, Light Vanilla. I wanted to get this one to replace the Lancome one, but this one's actually too light for me. So in natural lighting, this looks fine, but with a flash, I look like a ghost. Like I've got some kind of mask under my eyes, so I'm thinking of returning this and maybe picking out a different color. These are so annoying. So next I've got the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. And I just use this for color correcting. Um, normally under my eyes I use the yellow one down here that I showed you earlier. But when I asked them at the store they said that no, pink is better for under the eye, like a salmon color. So I went with their uh, advice. Um, but I do feel like it looks a little pink under my eyes so I'm still trying to figure out how to work this. But I'm going to keep it. Next, I've got three NYX color correctors, and I only tried these out like once or twice. I only like really swatched them, but I don't really use them because I have a better option right now. Like I have this Ulta one, the Urban Decay one, so I'm going to be decluttering these three. Next, we've got this bad boy over here, the e.l.f. Uh, Co Complete Coverage Concealer. I don't really reach for this that often, but I feel like this is pretty good for when I do more dramatic looks and I carve out my eyebrows. Mind you, that's very rare that I do dramatic looks and carve out my eyebrows, but I like keeping it for that and it was pretty cheap, so I'm going to hold on to this. So those are my concealers. I thought I would declutter a lot more than I did, but I don't know, I guess I have some pretty useful stuff. So that is the end of part one, the face stuff. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next part. Bye!